weekend. The defending Super Bowl champs traded a key piece of their defense after tagging Legereus Sneed. Uh, they found a trade partner for the cornerback with the Tennessee Titans, who sent a 2025 third round pick to Kansas City. They also swapped 2024 seventh rounders. Sneed getting a new long term deal. Four years, 76 million, 55 guaranteed. Now, Ladarius Sneed was targeted 90 times as the nearest defender in coverage during last season. He did not allow a single touchdown pass. That's the most targets faced in a season by any player without allowing a touchdown since 2019. And Stephon Gilmore, who was the NFL's defensive player of the year that season. All right, so we all know, and Patrick Mahomes said it on multiple occasions, that Chiefs defense carried Kansas City for a good portion of last season as the offense struggled to find their way. But they always seem to absorb these personnel losses. So, Acho, how do you think this will impact the Chiefs as they look to three-peat? I think it'll be a very minimal impact on the Kansas City Chiefs. As crazy as that sounds, why do I say that? Why? They paid Chris Jones for a reason, to wreak havoc on offensive linemen and on, on, on quarterbacks. They say that Russian coverage works together. So Chris Jones, Felix Onyudike Uzama, first-round pick, George Karloftis, first-round pick, a healthy Charles Amanda, who that front four, imagine those guys getting after quarterbacks on third down, will help the other guys, not including Trent McDuffie because he's been outstanding, help them to get better on the back end. And so I don't think it's going to be a huge impact. I think that, that front four rushing the quarterback, led by Chris Jones, will be just what the Chiefs need. I'm torn on this because on one hand, the Chiefs have an excellent record drafting and developing corners. Uh, McDuffie is fantastic. Best in the slot, I think. Joshua Williams has been great for them. Uh, they've got, found some real steals later in the draft, including Snead was one of them. Um, but on the other hand, while I understand you can never really project what you're going to get in comp picks uh, in the future, I would have thought they would have wanted more to move on from him, given that this is the team that is in Super Bowl contention every year. And also because Legereus Sneed is not just another corner. He's one of the two or three best corners in the NFL right now. His skill set as a press man corner is so fundamental to what the Chiefs do with their, uh, their blitzes in particular, counting on him to be on an island and play man coverage. Uh, so... While I get why they're doing this to some degree, and I think mm -hmm. it's probably about clearing cap space more than anything, I can't help if the lack of a draft return makes me think, ah, I kind of think you should be would have been better off just sticking with Snead for another year. Yeah, it's too bad they couldn't run it back with him as they look to three-peat. Uh, meanwhile, their loss? is Tennessee's gain and they have invested a lot in players this offseason. Obviously the part of Snead was signing him to that long term deal which they did. We just told you about them extending him. They also signed Calvin Ridley, center Lloyd Cushenberry, Chittabay Awuzie, running back Tony Pollard. Obviously Derrick Henry is gone. So we're going to bring Dan Graziano back now from the owners meetings in Atlanta. We look at all this work they've done putting into that roster there in Tennessee. What does this tell you about their level of trust in their young quarterback, Will Levis, going forward? Well, Hannah, I don't know that trust is the right word because you've mentioned how young Will Levis is and he, he not even one full season as an NFL starter. But I think the way to look at this and listening to what head coach Brian Callahan had to say a little bit this morning at the breakfast, uh, th what they want to do is put Will Levis in the best possible position to prove to them that he is that guy long term. They believe in his ability, uh, you know, his talent, his physical skills, uh, but they want to make sure that by the time they do have to make a judgment on him, right, is he the long term answer or do we need to look elsewhere, they've given him the best possible um, ability to succeed. And that's why you bring in a Calvin Ridley and all those other uh, expensive and talented players that were on that graphic that you guys were just showing uh, is because they feel like if we can make the roster as strong as possible around him, then we'll be able to really find out what we have in this guy that we like a lot, but still has a lot to prove in the NFL.